Here we'll look at the toolbars in more detail. We'll examine some of the setting preferences, the general block area, and how to use the bottom tools regarding working with patterns and their placement in the block or in the quilt. Under the File drop-down menu, you can create a new pattern layout for a pantograph or a quilt, open an existing quilt, save a quilt, read patterns, print, export a pattern, or import a pattern. Currently importing is limited to patterns that are created from QuiltCAD itself. You can enter the Quilt Motion portion or Computer Automated Quilting area of the software, or you can select Quit. Under Edit, you can Undo, Redo, Copy a particular block, Paste that block, Delete, Place the pattern, here you can also manipulate those patterns with flipping both horizontally and vertically, rotating clockwise or counterclockwise, clearing everything, and preferences, which we'll discuss more in a moment. First, it is good to note that a lot of these above items can be found in other toolbars already located in the screen. On the right side, you can choose pattern selections, copy, and paste. You can move down to the bottom left side here, here you can flip horizontally, flip vertically. You can also stretch, scoot, rotate, and merge blocks. Moving back up to the top left under Editing, you pull up the Preferences. This is where you can choose the color of the patterns you have on your screen. I'm going to just briefly show you by closing this down and selecting. First, place a pattern in the block. Here you see that the pattern we selected is a light gray. By selecting the Preferences function from the Edit drop-down menu, you can change the color of your pattern, for instance altering the color of the pattern line making it show up darker on the screen. This is done by selecting the color we would like, selecting OK and OK. This changes the color of the pattern that you're working with. Our preferences also allow you to set the background color of a selected cell. You simply go into a particular cell and select it, and you can change the color that highlights an active cell. QuiltCAD also allows you to wrap your rows. Wrapping rows allows you to take an image and go through the edge of our quilt and wrap that block back around to the beginning. We also have preferences that are selected for PatternCAD, which is the pattern design software. This will show the color of the lines, the color of some nodes, handles, and mirrors, as well as coloring of the second layer, and color of the grids. This is explained in more detail when you look at some of the how-to files in PatternCAD. The squared-in area shows features for the PatternCAD portion of the software. You then have preferences you can set for printing or exporting. And down here at the bottom, you can also see there is an area called Pattern Viewing. This is what allows us to look for the image of a pattern that we want to place. We will select View Thumbnails and go now to the right in my Pattern Selection area and click on Read. This allows you to then view the actual images of the patterns that we can select from and place it into the quilt. You can place those images on your selected block areas. Again, clicking on Read and Thumbnails allows us to visually see those different patterns. Going back to the Preferences, we'll look at the Pattern Viewing area to view large patterns. We're going to do the same process now of selecting Read on the right in the Pattern Selection area. This brings up a large viewing pane here in the center of the screen. On the right-hand side is a list of all the patterns. You can use the arrow key to move through these different patterns to view them. 
You can also use the mouse and click to view or select. Once the pattern is selected, you can select OK and place this in the block. Most people prefer to view the thumbnails when selecting a pattern to place. It allows you to see exactly what you want as you browse to place a pattern. This again can be found in the preference area. You have your color options, the pattern software Pattern CAD and its preferences, printing and exporting, and last pattern viewing. Moving on, in the top toolbars, we have selecting. This is how you can select different blocks, rows, and columns. You can select and unselect. This is how it looks when you select all and unselect all. Checkerboard, alternating rows and alternate columns. Odd blocks on odd rows, even blocks on odd rows. Odd blocks on even rows and even blocks on even rows. We can do borders with the corners. and borders with no corners. We'll show this in following tutorials with more specifics on how these can be utilized in placing patterns onto your quilt area. Next we have the view. This is in the zoom feature. This allows us to select a block with a pattern view and zoom into that pattern so we can see the details of the pattern. This can also be accomplished by selecting the block or the selection of blocks that you want to view closer. Moving down to the right side of your screen over down here to the right, selecting the zoom button. Again, for convenience, we've tried to incorporate as many of these features that can be found on a drop down menu from the top onto the main screen for quick access. We have tools that allow you to go into a couple of other amazing features here. We can go into the Pattern CAD, the Pattern Design software, and look at some of the more advanced features like row rippling. We can also repeat patterns. We also have access to manipulate our triangle blocks found in later tutorials. Borders, quick creation of the borders for clockwise and counterclockwise placements. The quick panograph and the quick border features. Looking at the quick panograph and border features, you'll notice that these are the same ones located on the right side of your screen on the top. The last area in the top toolbar is our Help toolbar. Here's where you can open up our specific Quilt CAD Help along with your Pattern CAD Help. If by chance you do not have access to help files located on your disk, it is also available online. Here's where you can also register the product. The license agreement is also kept here. You can also look for updates to your software. This concludes this overview of the toolbars.